working together on, on these issues. Senator Cantwell. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank you and I thank Senator Crapo. And if, if anything, I see a Northwest delegation here who should know and does know how important trade is. And I definitely think we think about it a little differently maybe than some parts of the world. I get so challenged sometimes talking about it. I just say, you just need to know that we were trading with China before Lewis and Clark showed up. So that means we're going to want to continue to open market access. And when you think about the Northwest economy, whether it's apples or airplanes or software, more than 50% of each of those markets are you know, international trade, or I should say weed is 90, 90%. Okay, so my question is, I agreed with a lot that you said, Ms. Shaw, because um, you know, this dissecting trade as an avenue against authoritarianism is something I care immensely about. It uh, took a 20-year-old staffer on my team to just say trade changes culture. I'm like, yes, of course, but I think people somehow have forgotten that trade changes culture and that part of what we're trying to do is open up and have more stable democracies around the world, and that's why we engage in trade. So I agree with you that we need to use our leadership. Uh, if you're not there, I remember a trip to, to Egypt after the, the change in the, the riots that took place, and we said to the embassy, let's go talk about wheat because this was all about the price of bread. And they said, oh, no, 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 let's not. I said, well, what do you mean? Oh, well, we've already lost too much market share to the Canadians. They don't want to hear from us. So losing market share is an irreplaceable problem. And if you're not at the table, you're not in the current negotiations. Lose market share is not just losing imports it, you know, or our exports. It's losing, ultimately, in the competitive game. So my one thing is that um, you know, you, I know your past role in the administration, which I definitely uh, would characterize the Trump administration as a tariff first approach. And I felt very challenged by that, uh, given the impacts that we saw. We had um, apples face a 70% tariff. Um, uh, India used to be the second largest export for Washington apples before the Trump administration's trade war. And now it is you know, a huge decrease from last year. What should the U.S. be doing to end retaliatory tariffs in India and elsewhere in the Indo-Pacific? Well, thank you so much for the, the question, Senator. And I should say I'm uh, born and raised in the great state of Washington, so I think that you will find my views on trade are quite similar to yours, just given the importance um, that I saw growing up. I, you know, the first step is to be engaged. It is difficult to extract meaningful concessions from our trading partners unless we are at the table talking to them about these issues. And unfortunately, there was retaliation imposed as a result of some of the trade actions that we took. Um, but at this point in time, we need to talk about how we can advance our mutual interests. Uh, so I would just encourage the administration to be as bold as possible and, and Congress in your role to uh, be instructing them in the way that we need to move forward on these issues. But certainly, uh, we have a number of challenges related to India, but it is the work world's largest democracy and a partner that we want to work with strategically in the region. So we're just going to have to roll up our sleeves and figure it out. Do you think that we should get rid of these retaliatory tariffs? Uh, in terms of India's tariffs on us or? Uh, the, the fact that, yeah, the fact that this create, listen, I think what you learn when you grow up in the Northwest is you start this fight, it's going to have consequences. And so it's you're a dispute. We're in, we're in disputes on the, on the solar stuff. And it's 10 years later. 10 years later and nothing has happened. So we basically slowed everything down. So I do agree with your viewpoint, which is, you know, if you, if you want to define the debate, you gotta be in the debate. And I personally believe we should be defining this debate all over the place. If you're in the debate, you can say, this is what countries need to do on the digital side. This is what you need to do if you want to adhere to democracies. This is what you want to do if you want to adhere to improving and enforcing, as we did with Mexico, building capacity so you actually have enforcement of the laws, not just the agreements, but actual enforcement. So I just, uh, I just think right now that we have to end these retaliatory this retaliatory tariff issue is costing us, and to say nothing of the supply chain problems that we have. So farmers are really taking it right squarely on the nose and we need to help. 
No, I, I certainly agree with that. You know, our, our struggles with India are longstanding and deep. They have a lot of challenges in terms of the, the waterfront of trade issues, but um, we're going to have to figure out a way to use the leverage we have to get them to peel back some of the barriers to trade that they, they do impose against us. Um, but I, I agree with you. I think they're a strategic partner, and I, I think we need to be at the table. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well said, as always, Senator Cantwell. Our next three are Senator Grassley, Senator Menendez, and Senator Cornyn. Senator Grassley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for bringing some trade issues to this co uh, committee because 